Good evening, YouTube. It is me, the Madat, bringing you the oh crap, the Elven Abuser 25 with the elves. It is gonna be a Smurf, but I do not care who it is. But it is an arch druid with what looks to be a Guardian Rouge, as well as Galactic up top with Lyox. What do you need? And the apparently the, the only own the only orc hero that matters. There's no goblin love these days. No goblin love. The cult is coming in hot. Well, yeah, I, I th mm, yeah. There's not really a different orc build you can do. It's basically just five lumber camps into double hunt, and then you get your the rest later. That should be interesting. Okay, our Bambi is going across the the, the map. Our weird deer elk hybrid here with alpaca fur, which is also apparently not quite sure how bridges work. Ah, looks like we're gonna try to. Nice. Alright, so pretty classic stuff. Using the scout to drag away um, precious boys so you, they can't just be cleaved through and you're wasting time with the hero, especially with the occultist. So that's pretty nice. Meanwhile, our walk boy is working on some workers. Walk on worker violence. That's my that's my German coming through. The vampire villages. For some reason, I never got it wrong in school. Then I went to Aberdeen, where I actually had to use English 24/7. And since then, I can't do fucking V's and W's in English anymore. Sometimes I just go full W. You should never go full W. So walk on will walk on villager violence in the village. I don't know. I'm running out of W's. But our little pathfinder is getting some noise damage in, same as the walk. But um, that's gonna be over now. I hope he notices it. And indeed he does. Uh, okay. We've also, we've got a druid on ancient city. Which does work with the Guardian Rush, because you can do the Medusas relatively quickly, but it looks actually... Yeah, it's a it's a basic opener, actually. So no Guardian Rush or Redo yet. You can still it with a traditional build. It means your T2 is going to be a faster. It just means you're not going to be quite as fast and not as many Guardians. But it does... It's a lot more stable of a build. If you, if you don't quite get enough damage in with a, with a Rush, you're not as far behind as usual. As you would be otherwise. But good old big shadow cultists just double tapping those zombified villainous villains. Okay, I should stop going for V words. Apparently, I can't. Okay, for a second, I thought we had like double pathfinders. That would have been spicy. Oh, wait. Ah, no. Okay, we're seeing some goblins going across the map from Galactic. Been casting so much today. I almost forget who where we are at here. Where are we at? Okay, yeah, that boy does not really want to hit a hunting cabin. Oh, that's eight damage per per, per spear throw. With 2,500 health, that's gonna take a while. Yeah, our cultist is gonna try. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So we're gonna see a recycle here by uh, by our abuser. Our abuser. Now that just sounds like a collective therapy session here. But he gets that nice and cleaned up. And okay, hasn't so far that's the only expansion. Cancel to deconstruct. Which you can do, by the way. I mean it's quite obvious, but uh, you can do it also pretty late. And then it gets rebuilt fairly quickly. So you can bait the uh, recycle. Just like it was done here, and then Galactic moves away, and then you stop it. To be left in peace. Okay, good, good, good bellage going on there. Looks like we're trying to bully the occultist. Nice guardian kite there. Bringing out the bows. Stand nice and far away from them, and Galactic had enough. He does not want to get bullied. But our little gobble friends are doing some work here. Very nice. Alright, but it is a it is double hunts coming up back here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna see some more um, 
Guardian Rush. It's just, I don't know. I feel like on this map, if you want to rush, you got to do it faster. Because at the moment, he is getting Gobble Rushed, which is uh, something I haven't said in a while. And it seems to be working relatively fine. The question is, how comfortable is Galactic with transitioning out of it? Uh, so far, we've seen pretty good research spendage by both of them. So that's nice. Relatively good control here. Only to lost like one Gobbo. These fellas can get some work done here. But start to retreat. Looks like we're going to see a big Gobbo mass consolidating. We might go for an outpost snipe here with that many. And still some nice harass there. Meanwhile, got some relatively good outposts up there. We've got a frontal one as well. There we go. We've got some, some going in the main, which is nice. So yeah, if he gets these woodcutters, so he, he recognized that he went double woodcutter first. So these are, oh no, actually we have to triple, sorry. But it's still good damage. That would have been the case if you go for the traditional double woodcutter, double hunt guardian rush. Okay, we're slowly getting a couple boys out. We've got six guardians by minute six. And 33 goblins. Which is definitely going to do some work here. So one of them is going down. Is he going to pick up the wood? Because that's a substantial amount of wood. So if we check this boy out, that's four wood. If you can grab that, uh, like especially on this map where it's so far away and the carriers are going to take a while, it's really, really worth it. But nice job here with the split push. Goes after the, uh, the grove. If he can tear that down... It's a lot of wood lost. You do get about a third of resources back. Hence what we just discussed with the picking up situation. But it's still a significant amount. Yeah, do not stand in the fire. Looks like Galactic does know about that lesson. Oh no, we're losing some 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 bo some little boys to the bad rally. Oh, goes all the way back. Okay, looks like he wants to go for these banners here. Which is not a bad choice. Or we'll see him to go after the Medusa. Because if he can get both Medusa spots, um, that druid is not going to be level 5 for a long time. <laughs> oh no, these, these poor boys are running into the wrong neighborhood. But quick moves here. He's going to get away from that. Uh, I think that should be a recycle. Okay, no, just goes off to the Grove. Not bad. So, interesting shifts here. We see a lot more aggressive play. Much less creeping. So, our quote-unquote meta has definitely shifted a bit. Nice to see. To, th to see things evolving. Okay, we had an attempt at a teardown. But now, that's a dangerous part about teardowns. If your carriers get intercepted or your, your outpost falls, then you actually... Give your enemy more resources than he would have gotten otherwise. Ooh, almost got trapped there with the goblins, and that's a nice obliterate there on a big bunch. And very nice stuff here from Galactic. Lots of distraction going on while still getting stuff done. He is going to trade some goblins out for that, but that's inevitable. But the Guardian Rush is becoming slightly critical, so... And at this stage of the game, Galactic might be too invested in getting these things here. And then just giving up the Medusas could really, really cost him. Because for now, he's still on Goblins. He is transitioning out of it, which is good to see. So he's not forgetting about it. But that's, uh, that's, 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 that's 45 Goblins. Uh, that will not last very long against the level 5 Druid if both of those sectors get mulched. Nice pick up here. So one hunting cabin down for three goblins. I think he'll take that. And yeah, elves, if they get, if they can get both Medusa spots, they'll be pretty happy. Oh, it looks like he, he thinks he can save it. That's not quite the case. So there's a little bit of damage done here for 
Spy Galactic. I want to keep calling him Aqua because that's the only guy we have seen play today with Lorks. <laughs> thanks to the <laughs> thanks to the fire, a very obvious teleport to the eastern side there. And there we go, Goblin Mask goes. Ooh, he's going hard. He's gonna get a, a Guardian or two here, plus maybe the outpost. We should have a teleport available. We're being attacked. We've got a hundred pop cap and gobbles, fifty-four. Lovely to see. Ten minutes in. Oh yeah. Watchtowers did not go up in time. Uh, we're still on lower sanctum, so as far as things go, it's it could become very critical for you for our abuser friend. There we go. Another. I'm not sure if that was upgraded, but it definitely went down. Uh, yeah, it looks like it was upgraded, so we had a woodcutter there. And that banner's going down, so no iron there. I'm still worried about the druid getting level 5. That's kind of the, the one thing. Oh, uh, I mean, I say one thing. But running your goblins into a forgotten root, getting them all bunched up into an obliterate... Could also bring the elf back into the game. So yeah, really, it's just run these guys. We're up to 60 pop cabin guardians, but thanks to the outpost going down, we're a little bit behind in that regard. Occultus is trying for a run by here. We have no more room we're for quickly choice. gonna check. We yeah, to our triple brute force, obliterate, balance fire, nature's gift. Pretty good stuff. A nice fire bomb there, but with the new minus 15 magic damage. Not too bad for them to tank it. So usually firebombs would two-shot them. Now they basically three-shot them. And with the heal, the Guardian can... Uh, the the Archdruid can do just fine. Okay, Iron Mines are going up. And... Ooh, ooh. We're still on long as... Uh, we still gonna be on uh, tier one here. That's a good old all in. Oh, and we do have to level five thanks to all the goblins dying. We have no more room so we've got the meme beam and Alan's wrath for goblin deletion operations. Honestly, against this build, you probably skip the Alan's wrath and just go obliterate too. I feel like that's better against orcs. Because you're gonna get nullified into a hunters anyway, so you don't want to spend too much time standing around. And uh, basically getting higher levels with Obliterate 2 is, in my opinion, safer. But we've got a cr relatively critical mass here. So that's gonna be hard to stop for Galactic. He does teleport in! Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, he didn't want to do that. Not quite sure what he was thinking there. He would have had to have every goblin available come here, and even then, with the level 5 druid, without the tier 2 units, he would have been way better off clearing the Medusas off. And just keep doing what he was doing earlier, just splitting his stuff up and running somewhere else. Oh, no, 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 the goblins are in the bad town. The elf comes in and wrecks your shit. Because he's got fire and some other... Dip. I didn't want to say shit again. So we just went with dip. He's got some fire with extra dip. There we go. Okay, hunters are coming online. So that's basically his ticket to safety. Because if he can, if he can remove the meme, the meme can't remove you. But, uh-oh, spaghetti -o. we do not have nullify. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I wanted these cleared up. So you can spend your points the way you want them to. That's a level 3 occultist. And that's a terrible idea. Yikes. Even my, my FPS don't like that. Jesus Christ. 
Oh no, and now he's just he's following into the funnel. Do not follow into the funnel. Oh, we got the level four in, but we missed a nullify on the hero. Oi, 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 oiski, poiski. Oiski, poiski. You guys remember that? Because I do. And that's exactly how it feels like. Speaking of remembering, there we go. We are getting tier 2 50 minutes in. I think that's the latest I've seen tier 2 elf in like. since release. <laughs> You really wanted to go in full tier 1 here. But it's working out for him. He's got the majority of the map. The orc is being pushed back. I do like the effort here by Galactic. Going for the heavier ass. Just that the hunter numbers are not quite there. We're stuck on Popcap now. We're being attacked. Is he getting... He's got the war pit up. So yeah. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have to stone for the increased, infra increased population. Ooh! Alright, this is basically where it counts. We need to fix big nullify. We did get it, but the hunters were not in range. The meme beam's on point. Ay, 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 ay. Didn't get too many guardians there. Nice obliterate. Obliteratum. Oh, yoink. Yeah, he's trying to split his... Uh, Low units away, but it makes things awkward. Alright, more hunters are coming in, but the food situation... Okay, it's running out for the Elven Abuser, but... Yeah, Galactic's problem is just pop cap. No more room for and yeah, we are getting it. Looks like we just about have to... Oh no! We don't have a worker! Yoink! Das ist nicht gut. <laughs> he is unharmed. Uh, also, like, uh, yeah. He's gonna... Oh, God, he doesn't have the money. Yeah, our orc friend, though, is in a big pile of trouble. While my FPS says goodbye because of the amount of units on the field. Uh, I mean, it's still mostly tier 1 elf. Iron mines are just coming online. So he still has a bit of time for... As long as this is all guardians. But this is a big old dance here. The poor cultist has to jog forward. Like an arthritic athlete. Okay, good. There we go. He managed to put a worker in there. Still has unassigned boys, by the way. Which isn't ideal. Oh, big clump, big clump. Not good. That's not good. I kind of want to see Zarek's champion be used. Just to improve the output. I mean, if the, if the level 1 wasn't so fucking terrible, I genuinely advocate for it. But you basically give up 40% HP on your units for not a good damage. But that was pretty nice. Unfortunately, the magical resistance is stopping that. I think nowadays you need weakness bombs against guardians and get fire. You f keep the fire bombs for the late game, something like that. Oh, that's why I would have loved the level 2 obliterate. Before Ellen's Wrath. Because it just hits the backline as well, so it makes that a lot. Ooh, boy. Well. Sometimes, people just give up on life. And that was one such instance of this orc boy. Speaking of giving up on life, is the tier 2 block coming online? Okay, we only have two, two growth. Our unit resource economy is pretty trash. Or at least depleted. Our orc still hasn't has the superior pop cap. And we've got 17 hunters. One good pull could change the tide of battle. Maybe even the war. And yep, yeah, some we've got a nice couple of harass squad searching for the iron mines. And just the fact that this isn't captured by the elves is also a big deal. 
Hot, 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 hot. Hot potato. Do not stand in the red orange juice. <laughs> it makes you sad seeing the occultist waddle back and forth between the shop and the front. <laughs> Alright, uh. <laughs> yeah, he has to wait for the occultist. He needs to get the pull on the. on the druid and to lead him. Otherwise, this game is basically over as soon as the. protectors come online. Oh no! Don't sacrifice the hunters! Ah, okay, okay, I like that. That's not a bad move. He saw that uh, this was unoccupied. So he waddled the, the, the old man over there. And yeah, this is why, why I advocate for obliterate level 2 in, in, against orcs. Because they don't have a good air force. And then you can still do... If you're in a sky, caught in a situation like this, obliterate 2 is superior to Alan's Wrath. Because it, it hit just a long, long way and you can basically hit the entire popcap army there. And then you just use the, the fire as a zoning tool. <laughs> Wonder I found your cultist. <laughs> he uses the bleach on the one one. Oh no! Not again! Please! Galactic! No! No! Don't get meme beamed again! Ah! Oh! Run! Woo! Okay, gives him an opening. I don't think he has the time to go for the growth, but he's gonna give it a be his best shot. Oh. oh! Okay, yeah, he's going too far forward with the druid. Nice, nice, nice damage. I, honestly, I completely forgot that they now apply bleeding. So the alpha strike damage isn't that high anymore. But it's still better for like these fights here. Nice. Not so nice. <laughs> that poor coach just can't catch a break. <laughs> just can't get the right pull in. Uh, what what's that dance called? The one where you where you not the Charleston. It was like from a play. Where the druid is basically just tipping his hat and dancing from side to side with the stick in his hand. That's basically what he's doing, taunting the occultist. Like in the, like in the 1930s. Giving him the cha-cha slide. Just like, I'm over here, I'm over here, you can't pull me. You can't pull me. But there we go, we're gonna we're picking some guardians up. Need to pull the weak ones back. We're gonna need some Starcraft 2 micro here. Good games, by the way, today. Good sentence, I appreciate it. Level 7, which I hope is Obliterate 2. Thank you. And even Psycho Blast 2. That's, that's funky. It literally does nothing. That is a wasted skill point in this matchup, because it, the only benefit you get is a 2 focus remove. It doesn't even do much damage. I'm pretty sure. And the Occultist doesn't use focus. So you kind of yoinked yourself there. Okay, we see some brutes to help out with the siege damage. Let me double check. Yeah, it literally doesn't do anything for you. I don't think the patch changed that. Oh god, but the sound go is going again. Um, we might have forgotten a rebuy here. And that's a that's, uh, attrition fight the orcs don't want to take. We didn't see a run by here. In fact, we're just gonna kind of getting shot at. And the tier 2 is slowly coming online. No protector, surprisingly. Uh, I think actually we saw some. They just died. But the guardians are slowly going the way of the dodo. While the wardens take over the slack. And yeah, brute's doing pretty well here. Since they don't have to pierce that pierce resistance. Galactic still doing well. How is our iron situation? Are we running out anytime soon? Uh, doesn't look like it, considering how late we started that iron 
mining. We're still good for a couple minutes. Oh, but that's the big obliterate. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Apparently our occ occultist is still waddling back from base for the up, up team's time. Is it up 10th or up teens time? It's a weird, it's one of those fucky English pronunciations. Because I think I've always heard it as up teens time. But it's spelled as up 10th. There we go! He found the wombo combo after all this time. Gets the level 5 of it. Nicely done here by Galactic. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> you could just like. I can't believe that worked. It never worked before. How did it work this time? Pull is very good. Pull is also even better if you're still running around with level 1 armor while you have 12k in the bank. That's also a reason why I pull pretty good. And that's defensible, I'd say. Oh, that's, that's gotta be big. So he cleared the iron mine. No, 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 no. What are you doing? This is just farms. Do you not have it? You do have teleport. Okay, good. He, he backed off. He backed off. That's fine. Okay, we're getting a lot of wanderers. They not terrible against orcs, of course, but um, they just really shine in tier three once they get the magic damage. I mean, considering these guys don't have, don't care about either, and there's not that many brutes, it's still fine. Okay, that's gonna be a nice amount of. Wood for Galactic that he doesn't even need. But that's pretty good. Okay, please don't teleport with half your army. Please don't teleport with half your army. Don't do it, Anakin. He has the high ground. Okay, no, he's going for the for that sector. That's fine. He's trying for... Ooh, this could cost him. Uh, gets a little bit. Someone needs to do the math if you're in a situation like this where half your carriers that r carry stuff back die because of the thing, if that's still worth it with the uh, recycling. Farlon, go do your math thing. Go do, go do tests and, and tell us of your wisdom. But that's a lot of hunters. That's 29 hunters. Anything else doesn't matter. 20 wardens though and 11 wanderers. But no front line to protect them from anything. So those goblins are going to tar pit for a while. To give the hunters some grand old time to get stuff done. Meanwhile. Still, oh Jesus, what the fuck. The great grovening in the main is happening. That's what's going on. But we lost just lost iron mines. We only got one back. That's going to take a while to get online. So we're basically down to one. Don't have a big bank. He's in danger! That's what he is. Don't teleport. Don't teleport without your army. Unless you really want to. Oh, there we go. We were shopping with the Archdruid. Do we have a quick check? A little bit of health. We got a shielding amulet. Uh, I think the staff in this matchup doesn't fucking do anything. Better off buying something else. But at least it looks nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was a nice obliterate. Okay, don't don't throw it now. Don't throw it now, Galactic. Show the doubt as the power of the orc. But don't throw it all away in the gap. That's the place where you lose. Always against the, the, the good old arch druid. <laughs> you like the you like the, the sound pack? Yeah, I might have to do a clean restart, but, uh, but I think I already did that. I can try it again. It's it's an, only an issue since reforced, so something fucky happened. Oh no! I just told you! I just told you! Don't do it! He has the small ground. Ay yeah 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 yeah. The kite is on. That's a Warcraft three reference right there. Oh, nice line for the obliterate. Good stuff. I don't know what the ping in this game is. So it's always easier to say in a replay. To say, do this, do that. But if you get a very bad connection, it's a shitty situation. 
But popcap wise, we're still in Orktown Wonderland here. Where we've got all the popcap in the world. And as I mentioned earlier, as long as you don't lose the entire army, you're fine. Oh god, don't lose the entire army. Don't make me regret saying things. Sorry, maybe I should be a little bit more unbiased. But I've seen so much orc underpowered, etc. That it's nice to see them doing well. Uh, meanwhile, if you're interested, uh, uh, we, don't, we have unspent ability points. That's what you're interested in. But yeah, still same build here. And what the fuck? Something's fucky. Galactic. Um, blood like tar. No sanguine burst. Death resilience 3. So he's trying to power through it. Ugh. That orc army desperately needs to heal. But the druid ain't letting them. And the pop quad is pop 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 cap is equalizing. E e equalizing. If you can't speak, just turn it into techno. I think that them's the rules. But yeah, now we're getting a little bit into quality quality wonderland here for the elf boy. So this could be a bit tight. And I I don't it doesn't seem like we're on tier three for the border fortresses here for the orc. So this is where it gets 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 stuffy here. And yeah, we're just trickling in units. It's not good. Okay, there was a pull, but das war nicht der richtige. <sighs> the Druiden! Seal of the Druiden! But yeah, uh, I think we've got our fun blob on. Meanwhile, we're still on level 2 though. So no like super fancy upgrades for our boys. Also no forestry, which could bite him in the arse. Oh, okay, come on. No, we are tier 3. There we go. Border fortresses are in. Black Ash is coming in. That might be the reason why we why we had this problem of not enough units being produced. A Mond reference. No, I don't know what Mond is. And I've just made... I, I just rapid-fired so many references in the last 40, couple minutes that I can't remember which it was. <laughs> it's a German EDM song. No. But I appreciate that you know that. Uh, let's check our... No, not Elven Abuser. Galactic. We've got the war pit, we're going Wrath of the Horde, a little bit late, but looks like our food situation is absolutely dumpster fired. We've got the tech up for it. But, uh, yeah, this is where the, 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 oh, the death ball is strong. If they catch you out in an awkward eco situation while they deleted your army, they can then snowball from sector to sector and rip it, rip and tear until it is done. But, uh, okay, I do like to consolidate, but, um, uh, okay, well, we do have a decent amount of quality there. It's basically, it's got, it's got to be a druid pole into deletion, into kiting around the border fortresses. But that's the kind of army comp that you don't want to see as an orc with a low level occultist. I mean, I said low level, it's level 6. But it doesn't have the dream set up yet. Gobbos getting deletust. Uh, we're fighting into our own choke points here. Not good for the orc. Terribly good for the war, war master. No, the, the arch druid. Nice zoning fire and we're walking into it. Nicely done, you bud, the elf player. And nine! Nine! Oh, yeah, I think this is where the orc dies. Beam to the back. And the elf ball don't die. The elf ball don't die. So 
So poor Orcs getting bullied. Well played though. But I think the writing is on the wall here. Very good effort. We, have, we just couldn't get... We just couldn't get out of the tier 2 full commitment. Into the late game. I think... I'm not even sure if you want shamans. Against elf you probably wanna get totems and then just spam the cage. But I haven't played enough orc late game to ver verify that. Ravagers actually do really well. Against elf because you can just go after the sectors and elf is really immobile. So that's definitely an option here. Maybe that would have been the play. For the new meta, for the new dawn. But definitely well played here. Yeah, we just needed to see... Needed to get uh, those pulls in. Uh, mm. Yeah, if you can't follow that pull up, it's not worth it. Oh, that's a nice bomb though. But, I mean, what's left to shoot at them? And the problem is it was a backline bomb. So every time you do a move command here, you're actually just hitting the protectors who are unaffected. So... That bomb did jack shit for anyone. And... Selavi... Of the orc. Selavila orc or something. GG, well played. Two hundred sixty beautiful units killed. Oh, the Evan abuser coming in with the Goblin portrait, the ultimate BM. But good effort. Yeah, the hero kill just kind of cemented it. The occultist had to waddle so often around. Hey, one hundred fifty-two thousand damage. There we go. That's a number I approve of. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Guardian Rush will be. I think. I think the Guardian Rush really wasn't the problem there. I think it's the commitment to the tier two without getting the Druid snipes in, because that's kind of what what the tier two rush hinges on. But up until the mid game, the game plan was really solid, and I think after that we probably need to see more Ravages. That's the matchup where they do really well, or the ten War Troll Yolo shenanigans as well because that druid can't do anything if either his all the sectors are down or he's a knock to the ground you can also get double wife and if you want to be spicy about it and go after the iron hunts uh, iron hunts iron mines we've seen a little bit of that in the in the pam 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 the tournament which i appreciated but i think there's still room to grow for the orcs I'm not saying it's an easy matchup, or that like playing orcs is always a bit, bit hard because the eco is awkward. But um, pretty good performance overall. And to YouTube, I'll see you soon.